We're going to be back in this pump again this morning because of this. And this is that rubber plunger cup that all the reviews on this thing turn, says it turns inside out. And I thought I had it fixed by polishing the bore. But guess what it did? It turned inside out. But we were able to buy one of these. Well, I made some room in the oasis of junk up here in order to work on this. So here's the basket. Obviously, I got the plunger out of it. And what was happening is that this was pulling loose and riding up like that. And then, of course, oh, heck, just breaks loose down inside there. Now, this is what the reviews on this Harbor Freight pump, not Harbor Freight, uh, Northern Tools pump, I mean, it's a $40 pump, right? It's basically decorative. But this is what the reviews all said. Everybody said that these inverted and the pumps were useless. I tried to combat that, obviously, in that tune-up video where I polished the bore. It wasn't successful. So I took on some measurements, and I got on Lehman's. And I'll, I'll put the link in the video description. And in, in Lehman's, they do sell replacement pump washers. And this is what came right here. Yeah, the astute amongst you might notice it's the wrong size. I cared more about this outside one rather than this inside, figuring that if I had to, I could trim it up wider. I've never used a leather pump washer before. I notice that when I push it onto here, it does swell slightly. And once it's swollen, it is much closer to the plunger proper diameter. Additionally, leather, being leather, is going to swell. So when I got my fingers crossed that, that Liebmans knows what they're doing, and I sure think they do, and that this, once it's assembled, even though it's maybe just a whisper smaller than the bore, and currently has little or no traction inside there. You dribble a little water down inside. Next thing you know, she's swollen up nice and tight. Fingers crossed. I do know that historically, if you let your well pump go without being used for, say, a month or so, that you had to pour water down the bore and wait. And what you were doing is waiting for the leathers to swell back up. Obviously, we're going to need to cut a larger bore on the inside here. So my first task will be to enlarge this just the smallest possible amount so that it will fit through here. With the leather trimmed, I'm going to do a little test fit here. I'm uh, very confident after working with it that the leather is going to swell up properly. You know, and this leather here is pretty soft. So I, I suspect, you know, granted I, I'm no expert on this, I just fix a lot of things. I suspect that a, a little feathering like this and she will work perfectly inside the pump. So, I'm pretty confident in that now. One of the reasons that I suspect this came loose is that this joint here just wasn't physically tight enough. And that it allowed it to open up. And one of the reasons I, I struggle getting it tight enough, this is pretty badly cast so rather than nice square edges that you can put a bar across it's it's kind of a u-shape so i'm going to get a file and i'm going to clean up those edges so that i can get a little more purchase when it comes time to cinch it up One 
one other issue from when I took this thing apart. It surprised me just how rusted this stuff was. I suspect that in high quality pumps back in the day, a lot of these components were brass. And what I'm suspecting is that left to its own devices, those two might rust together so hard that you would damage it trying to get it apart. So I was trying to come up with something that would throw it on the floor. Oh. And then afterwards that I could put on this that maybe would keep it from rusting up quite so hard. And what I've come up with is uh, paraffin wax. And I think that I can warm this up with the torch. Not hot, just warm. Get a little wax in the threads. Also, this joint here was really badly rusted. And if this were to, say, start pitting, well then, these two things won't work at all. So I'm contemplating a little wax on those two. I know that that wax won't last forever, but it makes me feel better right now. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up and give this a try. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cool some. I have, I've just wiped the puddle off around the bottom. I'll let this cool. I'm a, I got a, a layer up here. And when that hardens, I'll kind of scrape and buff it off a little bit. But yeah, I'm hoping the idea works. Set that off to the side. I want to do the little plunger. And I think I want to do the inside threads on this. With everything wiped down, a little bit of candle wax, I'm going to let all of them cool. We'll reassemble it. Put the leathers back in the pump. Find out how we did. Now things have cooled off sufficiently, I'm going to put them together. So here is our leather cup washer. Nice and tight. Don't forget to put your flapper valve in and I can feel the wax on it. I have no idea how long the wax will last. I really don't. But it makes me feel better. And sometimes, well, that's just good enough for me. So I'm just using a piece of bar steel here. Now she's tight. So let's go put the pump back together. See if we solve the problem. So here's our pump bore. This piston isn't even remotely close. So I'm going to go ahead and work that leather out. Now, now we have that seal. So this goes down inside. Curl your leather around to get it started. There's no resistance there, so I'm going to get a cup of water, I'm going to pour it in, I'm going to give it some time and see if the leather swells. I've poured a little water down it, no resistance at all. We're just going to 
let it soak, give it some time. Well, that didn't take very long. Once again, the video description has the link to the website, Lehman's, that I ordered the leathers from. You saw how quickly it worked. Maybe two, three minutes of priming. Basically, I just poured enough water down that it puddled on top of that. Pulled a little vacuum, which immediately expanded that, that leather ring. Okay, it took it a bit to pull water up, but then we are we are hand lifting water about about 10 feet right now 12 feet right now and i could hear the leather sucking so you know she was still pretty raw but it did it there you go i hope your projects are successful thanks for watching